This is the baseline machine. The baseline is loosely modeled after the legendary Roland TB303. It was intended as a bass machine, but because it's so configurable, it can do a lot of cool lead sounds too. It's a monophonic synthesizer, meaning it can only play one note at a time. So no chords, but because it's monophonic, there are some special things it can do, and we'll get to that later on. For now, I'll just go through the controls and explain what they do. So first up is the waveform selector. You get two waveforms to choose from, a sawtooth and a square wave, and they sound quite different. So there's different things that can be done with each one. Next up is the pulse width knob. Now, pulse width only affects the square wave, so you won't see any effect if you use it on the sawtooth. But on the square wave, it's quite significant. You're basically going from a really smooth, computery sounding square wave to a really edgy one. Next up is tuning, and that's a two octave range um, down by semitones. Next up is a filter section, so you get a cutoff and resonance knob. The cutoff is just the high frequency content that's being cut. Resonance is sort of that gurgly sound that makes this thing very special. Next up is envelope modulation. Now this controls how much of these things go down as the note is being held. The time at which it takes for these things to go down is determined by the decay knob. So a fast decay means they go down fast. And so slower decay makes them go down slower. Um, if you bring the envelope modulation to its minimal value, there's very little change in these two knobs on the notes that's played. Next up is accent, and I'll get to that in a bit. Then we have volume, which is just basically controls standard output volume on this machine. Down here is a low frequency oscillator, which can be assigned to three things. First up, we have pulse width modulation. So the LFO is basically going to turn this knob for us in time automatically. I'll bring the rate up to something and slowly bring up the depth, and you can hear it's modulating this knob. Now, phase you won't really hear unless you're playing it in a pattern. This just affects how the sine wave syncs up in time as your pattern is synced. Next target is the voltage control filter. So the filter section here, this is pretty much having the LFO modulate your cutoff knob. And then next is the voltage control amplifier, so your volume section. So that's the LFO, I'll leave that off for now. Um, next up there's a distortion effect here that's built into the machine. This is the same distortion that's available as an insert effect. Um, it's just such a popular insert to be used on the baseline that it's now part of the machine and it frees up an extra slot for inserts. So you get your standard overdrive, saturation, foldback, and fuzz. The controls pre is the preamplification level going into the effect. The amount is the amount of effect you want in your signal, and the post is a correction volume to go out. Now because this synth is monophonic, I'll show you what can be done that's extra for this one. So if you bring up the pattern for it, and I've got a little pattern set up here, I'll set that to play. There's a little bit of a four on the floor drum kit to help us sync. Now you'll notice you've got two extra note flags you can put on this. One is accent and one is glide. The accent is a little volume boost and how much volume is boosted is what this knob here controls. So this would be a full volume boost when the note is set to accented, and this would be pretty much just the same as any normal note, which is no, imp uh, no increase on the accent. So I'll set that to accent, and I'll play with the accent knob, you'll have a look. This note plays much louder now. 
Next up is Glide, and that takes the attack off the note and makes the pitch change smoothly between one note and the other. So we get that kind of rubbery effect that's very popular with this synth. So very dramatic would be going from a high note to a low note. That's pretty much it. That's a typical use for a bass line. Um, if you've got your knob set up, you can save this as a preset, same as other machines now. Um, so whatever. And you can bring up other presets too. So there's possibilities now with these extra effects to come up with some pretty cool combinations that sound really different on this machine. That's it for the baseline.